Hey guys, Shanti Phillips with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Taking a go out to see if this came out today, see if things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, the main big things coming out today is uh, Creed 3 and uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods. Those are the main ones releasing and I believe there are some exclusives for those. I I think there might be steel books for both of them at um at Best Buy and I believe there was it was either something exclusive at Target or Walmart for both of those ones I'm pretty sure uh, other than that I'm I think there was um a couple horror films coming out today as well also though the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD blurry and 4k reviews some things I received to review and talk about for you guys so definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go but as always though, you guys know, I always show right in the front here where the movies used to be, so I get a little bit of video in the store. Otherwise, there would be like nothing really in here with me talking because it's like blasting the music in the section. But, well, we get to look at the candies. Well, nothing really new in the candy area, but fingers crossed, hopefully they have something out over in the section. I feel like today, like I said, I say that every time they should, but we shall see. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe they'll have out Ant-Man that was supposed to be out last Tuesday. Maybe it will be out today, though. Well, as suspected, as, as I was thinking, absolutely nothing new out. But they did have out last Tuesday's release. So it was like what I was saying. It was like they got out Ant-Man and everything. You know, the stuff that came out last Tuesday today. I don't know if I'll get to another Target or not. Because like I said, I think there might be something exclusive for um, the stuff that was coming out today. But... We'll see though, but we're gonna head over to the, um, the first Walmart. This one, you know, it's kind of weird though. The um, This one is the one that locks up the stuff, but they usually have out the movies for the most part. The other location, which is the one that doesn't lock up the movies lately, has not been stocking the new thing. So we'll see, hopefully they're not gonna become like never stocking anymore, that other location. Cause that one was always the good one cause everything was always unlocked, but we shall see, fingers crossed. Into Walmart we go. So luckily enough, it looks like everything is out over here so i see a uh, creed 3 and they have the uh, 4k of that one and that one is a uh, 29.96 and this is one of the ones where every uh edition you know every version has a different cover so like the 4k has a different cover the blu-ray has a different cover and then the dvd has a different cover so that's always kind of cool that's what warner brothers does a lot does a lot of times and then they have a three um movie collection of all three of the creed, creed films together this one came out today too this 1001 i don't know anything about this one if you guys have seen this one though let me know uh, how this one was. I'm not sure if there might be a Blu-ray as well for that. And then also, it's the same goes for um, Shazam. Uh, the the um, it's funny. This this for this one is this a different? It says the iconic edition. So I guess it has like oh yeah. So it's a, this is the exclusive one that opens up like this. And so I, so I guess this must be exclusive to to uh, Walmart, but that one's $34.96 for that, $24.96 for the Blu-ray, $19.96 for the DVD of that one, and then a, a combination, you know, um, both of them together for $24.96. And then everything else here was all from last week. Let's see, over here, I don't see anything new here. I did see some new stuff over here that was mixed in. What was like, there's a couple of these I noticed. These, um, the Hateful Eight ones, these Western slip covers. So it's like um, Hateful Eight, Jingle Unchained, Hell or High Water, and then the Young Guns. And these are all the Blu-ray ones with the new slip covers on them. And then over here, I think some of these might have been newer. I, I cannot remember if I showed all these ones or not. Like there's the Chucky one. Basically, it's a, they just put the piece of paper in front of these right here. So it's the same ones, but they just put like this. So it's not like a slip cover one. It's like a slip thing that goes inside, almost like a postcard for that one. But I see, this is kind of cool. You don't usually see Universal doing them too often. So this is one for Back to the Future. So that's pretty cool. Uh, for that, that's fifty nine nine, and then American Pie. That's cool. That's a pretty good price for the DVD of all of them, seventeen ninety six, and then Final Destination, Beetlejuice, Smoking the Bandit, Mad Max, Fifty Shades, The Matrix, Mortal Kombat, Fast and Furious, Nightmare on Elm Street, Purge, Tremors, It, Riddick. Yeah, these are pretty cool ones. I don't think I showed those. So let's see what's new in here now. So this one, the last uh, Sentinel. 
this consecration one I saw was coming out. I believe there's a Blu-ray of this one. I always like Jenna Malone, so that one I probably will will get the Blu-ray of down the line. Let me know though if you guys have seen that though, how that one was, that consecration one. And then VHS 99, that came out. I'll be showing you guys the fork, I mean, sorry, the steelbook of that one at the end. And then this one too is another one I don't know anything about. If you guys have seen this too, let me know how this is, this Resurrection of Charles Manson. And then Bullets for the Bad might be today. And then this Pokemon one might be today. These are the ones that were last Tuesday that I didn't show because they weren't on the shelf, like the Magic Flute. And then I think that was the only one that I'm noticing that was last Tuesday. Other than that, though, that seems to be all the main new ones. And we can look at the back, too, of, of some of these ones if um, they have them out at the other Walmart, though. But they last Tuesday they didn't, so who knows? We shall see, though. Oh, yeah, and you always have to check this thing. They always kind of randomly rotate this and put, like, new things into this. Oh, and one thing I want to show you guys, too, I just noticed, too, uh, is that the 4K for Creed, at least this edition in Walmart, I don't know if, if it, all the 4Ks are like this. I'm thinking this might be the exclusive ver version for it to be like this, but it opens up like this. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen Warner Brothers do um, one that was like this before. And it's also a, like a slipcover that opens. So that's pretty cool for that one. Into the second Walmart we go. And we'll see, like I said, last uh, Tuesday, this location didn't put like any of the new releases out whatsoever. This one's always been really good at stocking for the most part, but we shall see. Hopefully today they are out and they're not doing a repeat of last Tuesday, but you never know, you never know. Yeah, things are looking grim over here too. I see, uh, well, I see a few lone copies. I see a lone copy of Creed 3 and then a lone copy of Shazam, but none of the other ones. I don't know where all the other things are. And then like you look down here and see it's still like kind of like grim and picked over and like a lot of the new stuff's not out here. Like they have all the, this is the stuff from, yeah, Magic Flute was last Tuesday. Supercell, War yeah, so they haven't put any of this stuff out at this one. For some reason, they've been pulling this stuff lately at this particular location. That's funny seeing this in here, this um, House of a Thousand Corpses one. For some reason, I thought this particular edition was like something that was only at Best Buy. I don't know why I thought that for some reason. I know that Best Buy had a steel book, but I thought this one as well was a Best Buy one. But that's really funny that they even have this thing in here. Because like I said, I don't even remember them having a spot for this or anything like that for um, this particular edition in here. So that's really funny. You always like randomly see other things show up in, in, in here. But I think I saw too, like over here, like a bunch of boxes over here. Like some of these boxes, like I don't know if I can actually show you guys, but I almost feel like the movies and stuff like that are all just sort of still left in these particular boxes right over here. And I think they're just here. Like, look, yeah, look, they just, they left them all in here. So honestly, like if you look at the dates, let's see if we can peek at them. I see, so this says that, the, oh, the ninth. So see the stuff even here for the ninth that they have not been putting out. So that's what it is. It's like boxes of shite that's not getting, you know, stocked and stuff. So that's, that happens. Into Best Buy we go. All right, so we'll take a look and see what they have in here. They still have some of the um, Man Who Fell to Earth uh, steelbooks. I think that was last Tuesday or the Tuesday before. But I do, oh, I do see some of the Shazam uh, steelbooks still available. So the steelbook for Shazam is thirty six, uh, thirty six ninety nine for that one, and then the standard four uh, K is thirty two ninety nine. So yeah, see the standard one that doesn't have the booklet type thing that opens up. Uh, that Walmart had, that one's $32.99, and then the standard uh, Blu-ray is $26.99. So you, as you guys see, there's a lot of different cover renditions to this one. And then, um, did these come out today? These Jujitsu Katsu, I think, I, I think that's how you say that. I don't know if these ones came out today or not. This one exclusive Steelbook uh, edition here. Let's see, anything else over here that I can see? All the same stuff here. Oh yeah, and then back here, they do have the um, the Creed 2, uh, sorry, Creed 3 uh, steelbook here for $36.99 for that one. And then they have the uh, Crank uh, Best Buy exclusive uh, steelbook edition here. That one's $21.99 for that one. 
and then they still have some of the um, the Ant-Mans available. Other than that, though, let's see if there's anything else mixed in over here. Uh, oh, they do have this one here that I, that I was wondering about, this um, Jenna Malone one, Constant... Consecration, or I'm, I know I'm saying this totally wrong, but yeah, this is one I definitely am interested in. I think I'll get that one for $12.99. Let's see, this slipcover is a little screwed up. I think this one looks probably the best of the bunch there. Other than that, though, this is yeah, this is what I was mentioning. This is the um, Best Buy exclusive. I think I thought for some reason this was also exclusive to the Best Buy too, but it's not. It's it's I guess that one's everywhere since Walmart had that. Other than that, though, I don't see anything else new here. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything up here. All the same stuff. This maybe shooter could have been this week, but I don't know if that the uh, shooter 4K. Other than that, though, seems to be all the new things I see. And then maybe some of these could be new. I don't know for sure though. Yeah, so I ended up getting that on constant, constant, Consecration. I think that's how you say that. Hopefully not saying that one totally wrong. But yeah, I was surprised they ended up having the Blu-ray of that one in there. When it comes to like the IFC and like the Shutter Originals and stuff, Best Buy used to kind of always have them. And then, you know, recently I don't see them as often. So you kind of, it's kind of like 20% of the time they might have a Blu-ray of it in here because Walmart never has the Blu-rays of those ones. But anyway, though, guys, uh, that was all I picked up today was this one. But let me know in the comments below, though, if you guys end up picking up anything on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K today. Also, though, let me know anything new that you guys have seen in the theaters, if you what guys have saw anything in the theaters, or anything you guys have watched on streaming, or anything new that you guys have watched on TV. I did go to see uh, Fast X, which I actually really did like that one a lot. And the thing that's like a pain is, it's like, I kind of knew going into it was going to be kind of a cliffhanger thing where it's like split, and a split it's not gonna you know pick up the sequel until 2025 and apparently you know they were originally gonna split it into one more part but apparently they might now do it into two because I, I had a feeling that Vin Diesel was not gonna be like oh there's only gonna be one more and that's it I, I have a feeling too they're probably gonna do one or two more of them and there's gonna be Hobbs and Shaw 3 or Hobbs and Shaw 2 whichever part they're at now with that and then there'll be others kind of spin-offs with the other characters I can totally see you know a weird Vin Diesel spin-off of just his character uh, like a spin-off of just Michelle Rodriguez's character like they can kind of do all sort of things with them and I really don't see it ending as much as they say oh it's going to be ending with after one or two more you know there'll be a million more and a million weird uh, my suspicion too is we'll see like some strange direct-to-video type ones too of like some real side characters you wait with that but anyway though guys now stay tuned for the brand new dvd blu-ray and 4k reviews and the first one I got here is from Lions Gate. This is the brand new 4K Steelbook release here. This is the um, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook for the film uh, Crank, which stars Jason Statham. This is one of those movies I've watched this movie so many times throughout the years. I'm hoping at some point we get a 4K of the second film because I honestly like the sequel just as much. And I always like these kind of like, I mean, I don't honestly like all kind of action movies like this that are this intense, but this one to me is probably one of the best because like, I don't know, just like the, the vibe of it and this is the way it's shot too. That's the one thing, too. This is one of the first movies I remember that was using all these crazy, like, I, I think it might have been one of the first movies to kind of be doing, like, the GoPro kind of angles, too, where they would put, like, little cameras in all these small spots and kind of getting, like, just, like, kind of crazy angles you wouldn't normally get and shot, like, when the doors open. Just stuff like that you wouldn't normally do all the time they were doing in these films. Uh, just very inventive stuff. But it, basically, though, if you have never seen the films, it's Jason Statham's character gets injected with this kind of serum with, like, this adre adre adrenaline that's basically making him where he's going to die in an hour. So he's kind of trying to get all his affairs in order and, and kind of doing all these things, like, right before he dies and, and trying to figure out if there's also if there's a way to not die from this. A great movie. I'll show you guys, though, a look here at the Steelbook. Now, it's one of the ones that has a slip cover on it. Let me see if I can get this off with one hand here uh, for this one. That's the one thing. I will start doing these at home more in the house when, when I'm able to before I leave and stuff. And here's a look, though, inside the um, the look for the Steelbook here. But really cool. You see, like, the injections and stuff. I, I, I like I said, really love this movie. Here's a look, too, inside at the, um, the discs for this one, too, so you can see a look inside as well like i said hopefully though we get down the line the um the second film on 4k the next one here as is, is a new guy Ritchie film here which stars another film with jason statham here as well a movie here called operation uh, fortune uh ruse de guru and basically um this is kind of like 
almost like that movie Spy and like, and like kind of like a Mission Impossible film, but kind of done like, it, it kind of has a little bit of a parody aspect to it, a little bit, not a lot though. It's got some comedy mixed into this, but it's basically like this super spy group, you know, led by Jason Statham's character. And they have to go and tr they, they find out that, um, Hugh Grant's character is going to unleash this weapon. They have to kind of figure out how they're going to stop it and kind of get to it before it's, you know, too late. And they kind of come up with this idea of, you know, getting um, Josh Hartnett and kind of, you know, who's an actor that, that um, Hugh Grant's a fan of and see if they can kind of orchestrate this whole thing of getting him to him. And then that's the way they can get more information on these weapons and stop the thing. It's a really fun movie. It has on here, though, uh, the making of on here as well. And Aubrey Plaza's Guide to Spying on here uh, as well for this one. The next one here, this is from a Paramount. This is a really cool uh, box set here. This is a com you know complete series, you know uh, limited edition steelbook six movie collection here for Transformers. So this is a brand new uh, collection here. Like it says, it has uh, six movies in here: Transformers, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers: Dark Moon, Transformers: Ex Age of Extinction, Transformers: The Last Night, and then uh, Bumblebee. I honestly will say, out of all of them. I liked Bumblebee the best. I thought that was like to me the most fun. Like I, I just I thought that was like honestly was my favorite one. Let's see now if I can figure out how to open this. And, and today it's like the day Sean's like doing a bad job opening everything. So this one kind of opens up like this. So I kind of um like I said, doing it with one hand is a definitely an interesting technique in the car. So you guys see it slides open like this, and here's all of the, um, the steelbooks inside. So let's go through every one in here, and hopefully I can keep them in order here. So we have Transformers, and then we have um, Transformers, the um, Re uh, Revenge of the Fallen, and then Transformers uh, 3, a uh, Dark Moon, uh, yeah, sorry, Dark of the Moon, and then Transformers uh, 4, Age of Extinction, and then Transformers, uh, The Last Night, and then um, Bumblebee here, too. I remember, too, when Bumblebee first came out, I got a really cool promotional item for that one, which was a, a copy of the movie on VHS. That was, like, one of my favorite promotional things that I ever got uh, was for that movie. That was, like, a really cool thing. So if you guys ever see anyone show, like, a Bumblebee VHS thing, that's what, what they are, their prom promotional things when that movie first came out. But on here, though, it has the special features. So it has... Um, you know, a special features on a bonus Blu-ray discs in this collection here uh, as well. But like I said, really cool collection here. If you guys are a fan of the Transformers films and this really cool Steelbooks uh, box set collection, I believe it's the first time that all of them have been together like that in a collection. Because I don't think, I don't think there's ever been a Steelbook set of those, as far as I know. The next one here is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy. Just wanted to let you guys know this one is available. This is a really fun film. This is the DC film Shazam, A uh, Fury of the Gods. I will say I'm really looking for, uh, forward to the new Flash movie, mainly for Batman. It's like, to me, just seeing Michael Keaton again, you know, playing Batman is like an amazing thing. Like, it's something I never thought... Because I just, I just remember, too, like, as a little kid, you know, seeing the second film. I, I think, I'm pretty sure I saw that in theaters as a little kid. And it was just, like, one of those things, how much I love that movie. And the idea that, you know, he's back again as Batman is, to me, so cool. And now he's going back as Beetlejuice again. It's like Michael Keaton's going back to everything that, <laughs> that I loved in the past. So it's kind of cool right now for Michael Keaton. But, um... This basically the new Shazam film is it's kind of about the kids now kind of all discovering their powers in this one. Really fun film. It has on here though a commentary track on here by the director and over 90 minutes of special features including mythology of Shazam, Fury of the God, Shazam, scene uh, the deconstruction, sisterhood of villains, more than 30 minutes of deleted scenes on this one here uh, as well. The next one here, this is from um, RLJ Entertainment and this is the uh, Steelbook release here. I don't think this is a Steelbook that's exclusive to anywhere specifically. I, I don't believe so. And this is the um, brand new uh, VHS film. Do I have the backing to it? Yeah, here's the backing for it. But this is VHS 99. I would say, though, out of all the VHS films in recent the, in the recent ones, honestly, this is probably the most interesting of all of them because the the um, I think the first two I really liked. The third one I thought was decent. The one the last one I did not absolutely love. This one at 99 is really cool. The one thing that's cool about the way these are done too is they always kind of make them you know seem very authentic. So this one was made you know to look like it was sh the, the shorts on here were made in 1999 
So they kind of have that high eight video feel because that's actually when I first started making like little short films was around like 1998, 99. That's when I got my first camera. I remember it was a high eight uh, Sony camera. So it, they had like a real specific look, you know, high eight movies like that. I don't have, it's hard to explain it. They just had a really specific look and they were definitely emulating that with the shorts. I'd say like the, um, the witch coven kind of one, one here was the best, uh, you know, of all the segments. Here's a look though inside here uh, for this one here as well. And then on here though, feature wise, it has exclusive panel from um, Red Pops, New York Comic Con, Filmmakers Commentary, uh, some music videos, deleted scenes on here as well, and some featurettes on location scouting on this one. Oh yeah, and also uh, bloopers. So lots of different features on this release here as well. The next one here, this is from um, Vinegar Syndrome's uh, partner label. What was the label's name? Um, ETR Media. I love this documentary. This is one here called At the Video Store. It's a documentary, and there's been a lot of do kind of documentaries on video collecting and things like that, but this one's all on uh, video rental stores. And this one was... Um, had like John Waters were interviewed, Bill Hader, and they actually went to all these different video stores that are still around, and some of them were closing though, it, why, why this was being shot. But they filmed at like um, Video Americana, which was the famous one in Baltimore, which is now gone, which is where they filmed Serial Mom. And what's so funny too is like, I used to go there, you know, when I lived in Maryland, you know, because I lived there up until 2010, grew up there, so I, I actually went to that video rental store. So it was, I remember seeing that guy, so it's kind of funny. And um, I've been to a few that they showed that are still around, like Scare video they showed that in this documentary but it's kind of all about the you know uh, uh, video rental stores and kind of the how they came and went and what's really cool though is the the guy who ran uh hollywood video definitely gave them access to like rare footage in like hd so there's like all this hd footage of hollywood video in here which is stuff that like you definitely did not really see and it's like really cool to see it like in that kind of quality because yeah, like that place closed right like right when like hd video was kind of like starting to kind of broadcast on tv i believe so I don't know, it's little stuff, dumb stuff like that I kind of always like. But uh, but really great documentary. I uh, definitely recommend you guys check this one out. The other ones here are all ones I want to let you guys know that were available. Uh, this one was from MVD, and this is from Unearth Films. It's a movie here called The Sound of Summer. Uh, and this one has um, behind the scenes The Sound of Summer, a Tokyo talk show with the creators of Sound of Summer uh, on here, as well as Japanese premiere with the cast and, and director on here, and then trailers on this one. And then this one here is from... Um, from Radiance uh, is the company. And it's one here called Red Sun. Like I said, one leg is that this one was available here uh, as well. And this one is the, um, does this have on here? High definition transfer overseen by the director. Scene specific, scene specific commentary track on here as well. Visual, visual, uh, visual essay on here. A 52 page uh, booklet on here on the film as well. And then this one here is from uh, Cult Epics that I want to let you guys know that was available. And this is one here called A Question of Silence, a film by Marlene Goris here and this one has on here 2k transfer from the original 35 millimeter uh, print and it has on here audio commentary from film scholar Patricia Pisters uh, interview on here with director from 1982 interview on here with the actress uh, from um, uh, actress Cox Habana from um, 1983 and the promotional gallery and trailers on this one and the last one here to let you guys know that was available as well this one is from film Mo uh, movement um, classics this is one here called warm water under a rose bridge and like I said just want to guys know that this one was available uh here as well but anyway though guys that was all for the review portion of this video and like i always say if you guys enjoyed these videos definitely give this video a thumbs up thanks again for watching subscribing and i'll see you guys later bye